we're going to draw the Lewis structure for SF4. That's sulfur tetrafluoride. The first thing I want to point out is that sulfur and fluorine are both in the upper right-hand portion of the periodic table. They're both non-metals. And so that means they're going to form a molecular compound as opposed to an ionic one. And they'll do that by sharing electrons as opposed to transferring from one to another. The way that I draw molecular Lewis structures is to start by counting the valence electrons that the molecule has. Sulfur brings six valence electrons with it. Fluorine brings seven valence electrons with it, but there are four of them. So I've got to do seven four times, which is 28, and add that to the six, which gives me 34 electrons total. Now the first actual step to drawing the Lewis structure is to put one of the atoms in the center, usually the one that can accommodate the most bonds. Uh, and by that I mean it's closest to group 14, because those just have the highest bonding capacity. And then I surround it with the other atoms, in this case four fluorines. You probably could have figured that out, right? Now, I'm going to single bond the central atom with all the outer atoms. That used up two, four, six, eight electrons, but I need 34 total, so we got a long way to go. The next step is to fill the octet on the outer atoms. Now, octets mean that, or rather the octet rule, says that each of these atoms wants to have eight electrons around it. These fluorines only have two around it, one, two for that single bond there. So we need a third and fourth, fifth and sixth, seventh and eighth electron around it to satisfy the octet rule. Now, I'm going to have to put that third and fourth, fifth and sixth, seventh and eighth electron around all of these fluorines. I'm going to keep track of my total number of electrons, though. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. So now I've completed the octets on the fluorines, but I only have 32 electrons total. I need 34 because that's how many valence electrons these atoms brought. All of the extra electrons if I have filled the octets on the outer atoms, I dump them onto the central atom. So I already have 32. I'm only missing two because I need to get up to 33 and 34. Nice. Now the final step is usually making sure that the central atom has at least eight electrons around it. This sulfur has two, four, six, eight, ten, which is more than eight. But sulfur is an octet rule exception. It's allowed to have just eight electrons around it, but it can also accommodate 10. And in fact, it can accommodate 12. Realistically, the only atoms that I've seen satisfy the octet rule all the time are carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. Almost all of the others are a, a, an octet rule exception in some way. So I don't want you to stress about the fact that this sulfur has 10 electrons around it. It's allowed to. Those are the rules of Lewis structures. And now you've drawn the Lewis structure for sulfur tetrafluoride. Congratulations, you're a hero. I don't throw that word around a lot. Best of luck.